What's up gear nerds welcome back to Metal Gear 911 and today's episode of gear vlog we check out the torpedo capter 8 by two notes audio engineering So uh, basically this is a load box, it helps you to record through your amp silently. Maybe you have an amp of 50 watt or 100 watt or something like that. Uh, but you are unable to crank it up because of cranky neighbors or maybe parents or someone. So you can use this and uh, play through it using at a much lower volume or you can directly record it or play through your studio monitors or even headphones using this guy so let's have a closer look at this uh, two notes uh, torpedo capture 8 so uh, at the front you get this nice thing written 100 watt 8 ohm load box attenuator speaker sim and di so pretty much what it does so this is uh, the input of this which connects to the output of your amplifier or power amplifier or maybe a preamp whatever you like and this is the attenuation 20 dB so if you want to use the your cabinet and play through your caps but at much lower level and maintaining that goodness of the crank temp so you can do use this and this is directly through and this is the fan of course which is kind of uh, which runs on the depending on the load of your amp how much you load you are giving to it so if you are running your amp at much less, less load this won't run and at the back side of it there is the XLR output and the line output and this uh, button is the ground and lift and at this side you have a power input so you can either use this as a 48 volt phantom power or you can use it with uh, 9 volt to 24 volt dc there is this knob that is the level of your output how much you want to put through this xlr or this line output this is the speaker simulation so you have a inbuilt uh, guitar and a bass speaker sim and these are analog of course so you can switch it or you can switch it off depending on what you want and of course another button is there for changing the phase it's pretty simple interface Actually for the playthrough I haven't used the speaker sim of the captor. I have used uh, the two nuts wallop sound which I will be coming very shortly. Uh, if you are buying a load box you must make sure that you are buying a load box which has a inductive circuit not a resistive circuit. So actually this one has a inductive circuit but uh, mm, attenuators and load boxes like Mesa, Cap Clone and all uh, those have the resistive circuit so what it does that when you try to record your amp through it it becomes a little bit muffled doesn't sound that good so you must have something that is that has the inductive circuit so let's not get into what is resistance inductance or reactance so uh, we will not go deep into that but if you want to read through it there are tons of articles online and you can go through it so this is the speaker simulation of two notes audio engineering so in case you want to use uh, the other speakers what they they have provided 
they have some free stuff and of course you can purchase it on the later stage if you don't if you have something specific in mind or something like that uh, okay so let's dive into it uh, what all things are here so there is a power amp, power amp section uh, which you can switch on or off so in case you are using a preamp and you don't have a power amp so you can uh, use this inbuilt so you can use the power amp and simulate it as you wish uh, this power amp section has these tubes like EL34 or 6L6 or EL84, KT88 or whatever. Uh, almost every possibility is you have here. So uh, and this power amp section have this uh, depending on the which kind of tubes you put in. So you can have this volume, depth control and you can have the, you have this pentode and triad. So, so for this uh, actually playthrough, I haven't used the power amp section because I have used the uh, EVH. Uh, and there is a cabinet section. There are a few bus cabinets and of course guitar cabinets. And there are a few variants of 1x12, 2x12 and 4x12. So for this video, I have used the recto oversized and used and there and then at the bottom you have this section where you can change the microphones so depending on the microphones maybe you like a dynamic 57 that is the sure sm57 clone and you can position the mic using this move the distance this is from center to edge of course you have this option to use two or one or four whatever number of cabinets and blend them together and after that let's come to this EQ section there is a EQ section there is a exciter that is you can boost the lows or highs of course there is a compressor also there is a room reverb so basically how to get this is you have the serial number when you purchase this uh, torpedo capture 8 or 16 or 4 whatever depending on your needs so uh, you have you get a serial number on the box registering your product into tonal's website you get to download this torpedo wall of sound so that's it for today thanks for watching this video and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell icon for regular notifications and as usual stay safe and stay metal